One of the questions I've received most is about putting an amplifier on a crystal radio. Now, I've already got a couple videos on that, but the amplifiers I used were these little battery powered, you know, IC type things. And so I thought, you know, if you're going to put an amplifier on a crystal radio, then you should probably have one that's more time appropriate, I guess. Um, so I found one that has low voltage tubes. These are something I've never worked with. I almost fried myself as a kid with a, a regular uh, tube type amplifier and I never really got over that. But this is the kit. Obviously this is the case for it. So that's nice that it has a case. And here are the internal parts. Some of them are leaking out of the side. That's, that doesn't inspire me. We got input and output wires for it. Okay, so um, not sure how I'm going to address that with a crystal radio, but I want to make sure first of all, oh, yep, they're real genuine tubes. I recognize them from my youth. Um, spending lots of time going up to the grocery store, Radio Shack or whatever, and testing tubes to see which one in the TV or the radio was bad. This looks like a 6J1, so I'll have to look that up to make sure that is, uh, yeah, and my guess is you have to scan this QR code for the instruction because instructions, because I don't see any instructions in there. The board is, that's good quality, it's a good quality board not great quality but it's a good quality board and it is well marked I can read most of these so um, yeah so it looks like 12 volt input and okay so that's that's it I don't see any other inputs which are good because that doesn't mean they're gonna sneak a high voltage input requirement in on me. Um, okay, so I will go assemble this. I've got a lot of videos on soldering, so I will just go assemble this. We'll come back and we'll gonna, we're going to see what it does for us. Well, we got her all soldered up and did a fair job on it. But when I hooked it up, and I did get a special 12 volt AC, it's, this requires AC power. Got a rather expensive AC 12 volt power supply. Plugged it in here hooked up my uh, speaker and my inputs to it, cranked it up, and just a whisper came out. So, uh, yeah. So what I did is I started exploring through the kit. And there's this notification right here. I wasn't sure what it is because my Chinese is zero. So I use Google Translate. Let's zoom out. See if we can get it in there. Yeah, it looks like it. And to use Google Translate. So here's the original, in case you do read Chinese. But the first line isn't that interesting. Point one, uh, it's just uh, designed for teaching purposes and are only for scientific research and experiments. Uh, technical indicators and parameters may not meet the standards of finished products, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Number two is the interesting one. Some kits are equipped with faulty or poorly performing components. Oh, well, that's... That's interesting that they tell me that after I buy the kit and that note is inside the kit. The purpose is to examine the assembler's ability to troubleshoot and improve performance. No, the faulty parts are not in there because they didn't test them in advance and they save money by doing that. No, it's to test me. Troubleshooting and measuring and improving the performance indicators of accessories will help improve related knowledge and skills. Maybe, maybe. This kit is not suitable for customers who need a finished product. Da, 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 requires relevant knowledge and skills. Well, yeah, I know how to solder. I know how to follow instructions. All accessories should be measured to ensure their performance parameters are safe before installation. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I did all that. I measured every component that I could. Well, let's go back to the circuit board. So, yeah, in doing my examination... I began to compare the circuit to the photograph that uh, the company has that where I bought this from 
and they have a finished product on there. And it came down to these four diodes. Everything else is exactly the way they show it, the transistors and, and all that. Uh, so everything else is the same. However, when I got to these, uh, I noticed that they have the band here, and there's the square pad. And on this one, the band is here, and there's a square pad. On this one, there's the square pad, and there's the band. And on this one, here's the square pad. But on theirs, they show the band on this end, on the uh, round pad. So, my last hope to make this work, because I have plugged it in, and like I said, barely a whisper came out of it. My last hope is to pull this, uh, to pull this diode and flip it around there and see what happens. So, uh, I will do that and I will come back. We will test this and we will see if it's going to work or not. So this is our setup. I've got my frequency generator over here. It's going to pump some output into the input of the, of the amplifier and then the output of the amplifier will come over here to the speaker. The, uh, yeah, everything is set up. This is cranked to the maximum. Tubes are warmed up. Oh yeah, tubes are warmed up. Uh, here's the connection from the, uh, from the frequency generator. And then similar to the speaker output. Let's see, what else? I guess we just turn the signal on. And yes, you can barely hear that. Now this is with the this is with the audio all the way up. Hear that? All the way up. Okay, so let's change the frequency. So yeah, this is uh this is a fail. I mean uh Again, I have checked my my result with their picture, and other than that one diode, everything was exactly the same. I did test it with a diode in my original configuration. I've tested it in their configuration, and this just doesn't work. Now, are some of these other components bad? Maybe, but I did not really buy this as an educational tool. I bought it as an amplifier to use with crystal radios and other experiments I plan on doing. So yeah, I'm not going to recommend you this. If you see one that looks like this, I would shy away from it. Uh, there's got to be better stuff out there and I'm going to go looking for it. Okay, well that was it for this little experiment on uh, these home amplifier kits. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home electronics work.